So next up, uh, let's talk a little bit about the metal hafnium. This is an exotic metal uh, that you don't really hear anything about uh, because it's uh, quite rare. Uh, it's difficult to extract. It's extremely difficult to separate from uh, the metal zirconium with which it's usually found in nature. It's, uh, it's very similar chemically to it, so... Uh, Refineries have a hell of a time trying to uh, get one out of the other, uh, and it also happens to have a very high melting point. All of these things uh, end up making it relatively useless for commerce, so um, that explains uh, in large part why it's expensive. It's also a metal uh, that's fairly soft, actually. Uh, you can see these beads here. These are made in a vacuum furnace. Uh, basically, they put uh, a bunch of powder in a mold. Uh, they take the air out of it, and then they zap it for all it's worth, and uh, you end up with these beads of very high density, very pure hafnium. Uh, normally, um, you get this type of hafnium, which is uh, basically just cut up cylinders that they made. Uh, in, uh, in another process where they grow a crystal on a rod and then they slice that rod and uh, you can you know see by the shape here that eventually it would have been a slice of a round bar and that they've just cut them up into small pieces for the purposes of our business which is to sell them to collectors and uh, academia and so on. So uh, all of these happen to be uh, fairly pure, uh, upwards of 99%. You can get even pure, but the cost just becomes astronomical. Uh, this is a 20 millimeter cube made of pure hafnium. It does not have a laser etching. This is a prototype, one of our first uh, cubes that we made. And... We never got rid of it. It's it's awesome uh, to hold it in your hands because it's so dense and cool looking. Uh, but it's also pretty expensive, so no, we don't sell these very often. Anyway, this is Hafnium Metal, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is Raciel for Luciteria. Thank you.